Well, I've been working on this idea for a shot shell guillotine that would do five shells in a row and then catch the shot in a little tray and uh, basically using a trapped sliding blade so it would slide down and I haven't quite got it worked out right but I thought I'd show it to you guys because I think this is going to work and the deal is, is that the shells push through. I've been adding little pieces of plastic to make spacers so that the this metal part of the hull will stop the shell right where you want it. And I mean it kind of works, but the problem is, is is that this is pretty soft. This plastic is pretty soft, so it cuts fine this way. But then once you get to the other side, it tends to deform it. Sometimes it cuts it, sometimes it leaves it hanging. Plus, as it's cutting, because there's stuff inside, it tries to push the shell back. So I've also got to come up with some way, something easy to put on the back that I can just latch. So you put the shells in, latch it. It locks the shells in so they can't possibly move. And then when the blade slides down, I want it just to cut basically just like the crimp part, not all the way. So I've been fussing with it and fussing with it. And uh, I think it's an interesting idea. You know, this one's kind of conglobulated together because I started off with one idea and then I sort of added more and more stuff to it and then I built a tray onto it. And uh, this handle kind of isn't exactly what I want. I want something a little different, but interesting concept. You know, I'll, uh, this is my last five shot shells I've tested. Like, <laughs> so many shells I've run out. So I'll set up the uh, tripod and I'll try and demonstrate it.